Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com, how to make your own hand-carved wood Halloween pumpkin decoration. Now these decorations can be uh, painted and used outdoors uh, or they could be stained uh, for indoor use. They can be made in a variety of different sizes and they really do make a nice uh, Halloween decoration. Very easy to make. I actually just used uh, some 1x4 uh, and 1x6 pieces of uh, scrap pine uh, that I had around, but you could actually use almost any wood. You could even use plywood uh, to do this project. Um, although with the pine you probably get a little bit of, of a better result with the carving and rounding the edges, etc. Um, I just glued together uh, three or four pieces depending on the size of the pumpkin. Um, sketched very roughly a pumpkin uh, just with a pencil on the wood um, and then I clamped this together using uh, pipe clamps which are just a very affordable um, clamp system that you can use for clamping a variety of different do-it-yourself projects. Um, I used uh, tight bond wood glue which is an exterior waterproof glue and I did let it dry for 24 hours. I then cut out the whole outside shape just with a jigsaw and this is very uh, simple and very quick process. Not, certainly not rocket science. Um, in order to cut out the inside uh, areas, I just drilled some holes, uh, inserted the, uh, the saw from the jigsaw through those holes, and, and just carefully cut out uh, each of those uh, interior voids. Uh, cutting out this pumpkin, you, you could probably do this in, in a half hour. Painting and drying process takes longer than it does to actually make these things. Right, so there the mouth is cut out. Uh, after all of the interior voids are cut out, um, I uh, used a, uh, a disc grinder to round over uh, the outside uh, edges and then I just sanded the entire uh, pumpkin smooth. And you know, you can, you can sand this, you can use you know a rough grit and then go to a finer grit sandpaper um, and really make this uh, smooth and look like one piece of wood. Uh, that is really nice if you're going to uh, stain it. Uh, with the paint, you know, it doesn't, you don't need it that, that smooth. Um, I also used a Dremel grinder. And this is just a cutoff wheel, just to highlight some of the lines. Uh, so I made the, uh, the pupils of each eye a little bit more, uh, pop out a little bit more. Um, and I used to also ran a line along the mouth, you know, to separate the teeth from the mouth. And then I also uh, created some segment lines running from the, uh, you know, curved lines that run from the top to the bottom of the pumpkin, uh, just to visually give you the impression of the segments uh, in a real pumpkin. And this little Dremel uh, with, a, with a cutoff wheel does this very well. Again, these lines really kind of stand out better uh, for a stained pumpkin. So now that you're all sanded um, and you've got some details on there um, for outdoor use, I just painted it with a uh, with an exterior grade uh, paint, of course orange for the pumpkin. I did go a little bit further. I used some brown paint uh, after this dried, just for the stem, and just very lightly to enhance uh, each one of those segment lines, uh, just so that they would visually stand out a little bit more than just having a, you know the flat orange paint. And of course, a good coating of paint um, is going to really ensure that this thing's going to last outdoors for, for many, many years. The only additional piece that I added, I added a small piece of wood um, for the base so that it would stand up. And I just glued this again with the same uh, tight bond wood glue, and then I just tacked it on uh, at a 90 degree angle. You'll, you'll see in a second with a couple of small brads. This doesn't have to be super strong. It's really just holding the pumpkin upright. I did drill a couple of holes through that uh, so that when it's sitting flat, uh, you know, on a flat surface like concrete or a step, you can just put a brick on that uh, bracket. Uh, or if you're going to put this on the lawn, you can run a spike right through the hole in that bracket. Either way, uh, you know, you can, you can secure this pumpkin in place so that it won't get blown over in the wind and it will certainly enhance uh, the exterior Halloween decorations uh, in front of your house. A very easy to do, do-it-yourself project, hand-carved wood pumpkins. 
Uh, please check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com. Be sure to check out our other how-to videos. And if you like this video, I ask that you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel.